It's time for Into the Spectrum's Fun Minute Tip. Hi everybody, Courtney here. Today we're going to talk about something a little bit serious. Everybody's a little bit afraid of what would happen if your child gets out and is unattended, doesn't have anybody with them. Well, what are they going to do? Can they find somebody to help them get back home or find their parents or caregivers? Well, well something that's very important to teach is teaching those safety questions. So the questions they might have to answer are, what's your name? Where do you live? What's your phone number? What are your parents' names? So those are questions they're gonna have to know how to answer if they get lost. Well, how do you teach that? How can you teach that skill? And what if your child is nonverbal? Let me answer some of those questions now. So if your child is verbal and has words, then what I can do is prompt them with those words. So when I ask, what's your name? I would then tell them their name. So if I was teaching my partner, Phil, I would say, what's your name? Phil. Phil. Good job. Now I would try to shorten that up. Once he has that, I would just give him a partial verbal. So I would say, what's your name? Phil. Good. You got it. <laughs> so that's perfect. So we're trying to fade those prompts. Another prompt I used often is a textual. So what I do is I can write his name down on a card and present that to him. And I would teach it. I would say, what's this? Or even Phil. Yep, that says Phil. Phil. And I would put, and I would practice that, teach him that card. And then I would then say, what's your name? And he would then say Phil. Um, all right, so that's if your child is verbal. And if they're nonverbal, what can you do? So if your child is nonverbal and doesn't have the words to communicate, how can they tell the answer? Well, there's different things that are available um, if you look on the web. So there's bracelets that have identifying information on it. So you can say if lost and put their name, phone number, and parents' names on there. Um, also, there's different charms that they can carry. So those are things that you can look into. So then they can know to show and teach them to show. If somebody says, what's your name? They can then show their bracelet or show their charm. So that's something you can do. Another thing that you can do is teach them how to answer. Well, either they can write it down, if they can write, or they can answer on their iPad or on their device. So then they can say, what's your name? They can write it or what's your name, they can type it, or what's your name, and they can press the button on their device that says their name. So those are all the different ways you can teach how to answer your name and how to answer those important safety questions. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you use a different teaching strategy to teach these important safety questions. Bye guys, thank you. Thanks for watching Into the Spectrum's Fun Minute Tip. Don't forget to like and subscribe.